everybody yeah it is actually morning uh, I'm not starting uh, I'm not just getting up uh, I've been up for about uh, two hours so uh, we got up around 730 in the morning and now it's about 1015 so let me get a time and date stamp it is uh, 10 hours and 15 minutes until into the day of uh, Sunday April 17th 2016 yeah uh, I said yesterday was a bit of an unusual day. There was a bit of a delay in the schedule because I had upgraded the uh, the editing the editing bay. Uh, see with Linux, uh, there are a number of the, every six months it upgrades. It, 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 there's a major upgrade. Uh, sometimes you can let it go and not do the upgrade, but there are other times where you do have to do the upgrade. And that was uh, I was on fifteen four. And now I'm on 15.10, and when it happened, there was a problem with 15.4. They sent the message out to the community that was a problem with 15. I knew there was a problem with 15.4. It just wasn't working properly. Uh, so I upgraded to 15.10 uh, yesterday. I was going to do it, uh, wait and do it on Monday, but I said, no, let's get let's get the work done. It's, it's, it's about three, it's a three, four hour process, uh, depending on, on, on some of the issues that pop up. It could be longer than three, four hours. But uh, that's what it took yesterday, about three, four hours, it was done. Uh, and I got that chunk of work out of the way, and now uh, on uh, 1510, uh, I'm, on the, uh, I'm uh, rendering the uh, 33rd episode of Big Bang Theory RRL. And I looked, and basically on Monday, we're going to be, well, I'm, doing, I'm doing 33 now, on Monday, we're going to be uh, done uh, 26. 26 will be up. Uh, the 26th episode will be up. So uh, between, let's see, the 26th to the 33rd, uh, four, uh, four episodes to 30. And another thing. So we'll be seven episodes uh, behind. So we're, we're, starting to close, we're starting to close the gap down. Um, so that's that's a good thing. I think uh, it's, it's not going to be this week. Maybe next week, uh, we'll we'll sort of have everything more or less put together. Uh, it's going to be a couple, it's going to be an interesting week uh, because well not this week but the week after. Uh, it's going to be Greek Easter, and I'll take you to as much as the Greek Easter as I can. Uh, so we'll vlog from 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 that location. There will sort of, that will be part of the. Uh, Thing there if, if I can get my cameras uh, sort of working properly, uh, I'll have to sort of see and sit down and figure out how how everything's going to work out because uh, uh, I got to sort of adjust where my cameras are and, and how I'm going to do things. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I just pushed I just pushed out the uh, the I think it's the twenty sixth episode is uh, now going up. Uh, basically, March thirty episode for March thirtieth is going up. That's uh, going up now. I'll have another one tomorrow. So in other words, basically on the, on, on the weekends, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. There'll be an upload every day. And then there'll be an upload on Monday. and uh, well, 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 yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, right? And then Wednesday. That will be our upload day. So we'll be able to get five episodes out a week. And I think that should bring us to, to get get us probably by, by the end of the month, by end of April, we should be current, and that way there'll be only a few days in between uh, the uh, between uh, when the film when this was shot and when it actually uploads. So uh, I'm trying to sort of get the distance down a little bit, uh, but sometimes it is difficult. There are things that sort of pop up, and even with the Tweetline Plus, I was supposed to get Tweetline Plus out. I haven't done it for the last couple of days, 
because uh, I needed to reorganize my notebook because I realized there were certain issues that were popping up. And and this is in trip shop is, is it's not you go into do, doing a, 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 an idea or a concept you go to look at that particular thing that you want to bring into the video. Uh, and you know it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. It's, there's not much there. Lift the covers, and all of a sudden, this whole thing that that you didn't expect to be there is now there. This is what forced through. Uh, and this is a sort of issue of looking at how information is. Uh, I, I the only way I can play it sort of describe this, and this is where I'm sort of fumbling out of my mind to sort of bring about the proper description. Do you remember the, the uh, old game? The game, well, even kids still play it today, called Broken Telephone. Where you whisper something in someone's ear and they, they, they pass that thing down the line. And you hear what comes out the other end. And it's completely different from what you've said. Well, the media is a lot like that. They pass rumors around. And what is necessary passed through history, and this is even done through history, is not necessarily true. You can believe something to be true in history. And the people will repeat it over and over and over again as absolute fact. But when you go back and take a second look at it, you begin to realize that this is not the case. It wasn't as presented uh, in history. That there was something else going on that really, if you knew about this, it would shift your entire view of how what things were going on. So, of, of what was going on. And then how things were, were, were occurring. Uh, and... This is the issue we ran into here, and I, I want to point this out. I wanted to point this out in Tweetline Plus to show that the so-called media bias that everyone's talking about now. Everyone's sort of saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to bring the truth. I'm going to bring the truth." Well, what is that truth? Well, the problem is, is it's hard to gather sometimes what the truth actually is because even historical facts, so-called historical facts, could be wrong. Just because something is authorized in in this part of standard and understood history, or accepted or an authorized history, doesn't necessarily mean that that so-called stated fact is actually real. It could just simply say that, that, that this was believed at the time. This is what was was happening at the time. This is what the belief was, and this belief was passed all the way down. It passed on through history. And not until someone takes a, a sort of a second look at it and goes, well, wait a minute, this doesn't match up. This doesn't exactly match with what's going on here. Maybe it's something else. And uh, this is the case here. This, this is with the Black Plague. I'm going to be sort of revealing this in the, uh, in the next in the next tweet line plus. So what actually happened to the Black Plague? And there are some very interesting things that will pop up that will show what's wrong with uh, mass media and why you actually have to do the sourcing and why background checks on who the person is who's saying something is important. And it's not, you're not going background checking and say, oh, I don't like this guy. He's a no good person. This, look, he doesn't have this here. He doesn't have this there. But you want to take a look at his actual work. You want to say, well, what does this guy put for? How does he come to his conclusions? You want to see the mechanisms, mechanism by which this person thinks. This will give you an idea of, of how to assess the information he's putting forward now. And I'm using, I gotta take a sort of a digress here for a bit and take a little tangent uh, before people start, because I know people are probably gonna be freaking out. Whoa, you, you, th that person could have been a she. Well, no, wait a minute here. He is the pronoun for man the species. Right? Yes, it does have a gender connotation to it as well, but I'm using the fact that when you talk, speaking generally, you use the pronoun he because you're talking about uh, man, the species, not the gender. This should be standard and understood grammar, but in many cases, it's not. Even by very edu so-called educated people. Uh, and this kind of brings me to the second, cup, the second uh, sort of uh, issue here about how things are treated in the media. And it has to do with the tweet that uh, I sort of was looking through my tweets and uh, picked something up and someone was upset about being called that that, that, that saying the Asperger's disease uh, or disorder is not part of autism. 
And I know I've 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 been called autistic myself, my, you know, myself to have the so-called uh, Asperger's disease. Uh, uh, but I disagree with it. I agree, disagree with the label. It, it, this these so-called labels that psychiatrists put on people don't do anything except for disa convince the person that they're disabled. And if you ignore your, your so-called disabling and just do the best you can and push yourself forward, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. The, 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 these these so-called dis uh, disabling disorders don't do any... The, the only reason why they disable you is because you allow the label to disable. Oh, I'm, dis I'm disabled, I can't do this. I'm disabled, I can't do that. No! Don't let the disabled label say you can't do things. And you look at the, 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 what is the Asperger's disease? It's a function. It's functionally a nerd. Every nerd has Asperger's. I mean, I'm sorry for the language here, but I think these psychologists who are pseudo scientists have a, have a disease called "shut the fuck up." Let's call that a disease now. It's normally called a seizure disorder. This is a lot of educators and uh, uh, so-called social scientists and. Psychologists seem now. They're all these are all pseudoscientists. They're not real scientists. They are, I would say, they are high functioning morons, and that is a definition too. Uh, that they are high functioning morons. Uh, that they need. They have this disease called the shut the fuck shut the fuck up disease. They shouldn't be saying things that disable people simply because they. This is what they believe. There is no evidence scientifically in 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 any shape or form. That, that Asperger's disease is disabling. And in fact, they even point out that these people may be exceptionally talented and have high, and high, high levels of knowledge. That's a nerd. <laughs> the only difference is, is they're, not, they're, they're not properly socialized. This is the whole thing. Well, these people, they have a social disorder. They, they're not properly socialized. What do you mean properly socialized? I'm not going out and partying every night, you know? <laughs> I mean, who cares? Who cares? You know, this is, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, this is something that a moron would come up with. This is how morons think. And this is why these people are high-functioning morons, is because they think they have this intelligence. They don't actually have the intelligence. They're, uh, by definition, high-functioning morons. And that is a real definition. You can go into an older dictionary and look up what a moron is and see what a high-functioning moron is. And this is what they are. They're high-functioning morons. And I'm not talking about the people that ask for this. I'm talking about people who are teachers, who are ed, uh, so-called educators, who are uh, psychi psychologists or psychiatrists, uh, the social scientists. They're, 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 their knowledge is assumed. It's not real. And so, that, so don't allow the disorder or any disorder that someone labels you with. Don't let them say, say oh, I'm now disabled. I can't do different things. Do what you can. Do what you want to your best of your ability. If you make a mistake, so what? You can always go back and try things again. Uh, practice is what really pushes you forward. Nobody is talented. There's nobody out there who's really talented. I mean, I don't see anybody who's... Like, like, like Ariana Grande. She doesn't just simply get up on stage and sing. And that, and that's her... Why do they do vocal warm-ups? They do... She's had years of practice, years of training. So this is not a talent where a person just pops up on stage and... Hey! <laughs> you know, they do an amazing job. And so what happens is that this whole concept of talentedness is really again this, this it comes from these psychologists these 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 social scientists who are high functioning morons because the the term talented does not meet reality. But then again, these are the same people come up with the whole thing about transgender and how the concept of gender that anyone can be whatever gender you want to be. Oh yeah, I could be a horse. Right? If everything's about concept. And there's no physical reality. There's no biological reality. Oh, yeah, I'm a horse then, right? You know, that's my concept. I'm going to be a horse. <laughs> that's it. High-functioning morons. Anyways, uh, that's my uh, pet peeve for today. <laughs> a little bit of a rant. <laughs> uh, I, you can't take these people too seriously. Uh, 
don't let people tell you you can't do things. If you want to do something, get up and do it. If you fail at it, doesn't matter. Go back and try again until you decide you want to move on to something else or maybe you have other things to do. Uh, you put that aside for a bit and you go on to do something else and then you come back to it. You know, it's like playing a video game type of thing. Turn life into a video game. It doesn't matter if you, you fail at something. Hit the reset button and try it again. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you do things. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now and I will see you. I'm going to have some breakfast and I will see you uh, probably in a couple hours, uh, a little bit after lunch. All right, take it easy. Oh, let me give you a time and date stamp. Oh, <laughs> it is 11 hours and 42 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, April 19th, 2016. Yesterday was a rather long finish. Uh, I didn't end up finishing all the work I needed to do on the uh, on the music studio. Look at that system there. I finally finished it. I, most of the work was done, and then even today I still needed to do some work. I needed to do about an hour's worth of work uh, to do the final configuring. There's always issues with the first run, so you have to run it for 24 hours. I, well, I like leave my systems on all day long anyway, so that they never shut off. But usually the first 24, 48 hours, uh, this is when problems pop up, and you sit down and try to work around these different, different, different issues. And uh, after then, it's, it's pretty smooth sailing. Anyway, you notice I'm not putting my coat on. That's because it's been rather warm lately. Uh, today is supposed to be cooler supposed to be in the 50s uh, but with the sunshine out it's actually warmer than that so I'm not going to uh, be uh, I'm not going to wear my winter coat I'm gonna wear two uh, two hoodies and that should be enough but I'll, I'll sort of I'll figure I'll know when I get outside how it feels, then I'll go from there. There we go. Much better. I normally put that on, but I forgot my wallet and keys. I have to do that. Yeah, I got a, a fair amount of work done yesterday. That's a good thing. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the progress was was good. Uh, that means the, the I gotta start today. Actually, today I'll be starting to do some. Uh, there'll be a segment of the day that will be for music. I'm not gonna show you that right away, uh, but I will eventually uh, vlog it. Uh, I think today is gonna be mostly. A sound test, and then we'll go from there to see what's next. Uh, that'll sort of get the, pan the uh, keyboard hooked up to the computer, uh, and then start uh, fiddling around from there. So the first exercise will probably be vocal, and then uh, from there it will be uh, also uh, pian piano scale. So I have to relearn everything. I was at the uh, when I was 12 years old. I was at the Royal Conservatory of Music in Canada. Uh, but that was uh, a long time ago, and I've forgotten more or less everything since then, so uh got to start all over again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm heading out the door. If it's too cold, and I need to come back and sort of add the jacket, then I will, and you'll see me do that, and then I'll go out the door again. So, anyways, I will see you in the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's uh, BTS vlog. Well, I'm back, and because you can't tell, because this is, this clip is right after the last clip, the last segment. 
I ended up. It was warm enough. Actually, I'm a little bit warm. I'm a little. I'm still sweating, but it's not as bad as it was before. And yay! So let me go take my bag off. Go get you the time and date stamp, and then uh, we'll have our discussion. There we go. Yeah, it was actually it was actually a good walk. It's very nice outside. Sometimes the uh, uh, initial temperature seems a little cool or cold. That's typically because your body had warm. I know when I left, it was like uh, 43 degrees, and now if I can see from uh, my weather, my, my weather uh, information that it's now 55 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, and it is 13 hours and 39 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, April 19th, 2016. So a very good walk. Uh, last season, or uh, last summer, so last time this year, I wore out my last pair of summer walking shoes. So I need, need, and needed a new pair of uh, walking shoes. And I went to the uh, department store that I usually go to. Excuse me, like take this off. It's an Asian department store. Uh, and I got a pair of shoes, a good pair of walking shoes. Uh, uh, for only $6. Yay for that! So I got my I got my walking shoes for the summer. So Friday, if the weather's all right, I won't be wearing the boots anymore. As I said, these boots are kind of all season. I can wear them in the summer. They're not that bad to wear in the summer. This what happens is that uh, uh, they they themselves are getting worn out. I'm gonna need another. I'm gonna need another pair. So the, these boots are kind of on their last legs. You <laughs> want to use it, use that terminology. Uh, as, as my body heats up, it creates a vacuum in the boot and makes the boot difficult to get off. Uh, uh, so let's start unpacking now. All right, that's the sort of thing we do. We, we we unpack after we uh, get back. <coughs> They have at a bakery there. This is uh, the TNT Bakery, and uh, what I'm getting here are basically they're six-inch, uh, uh, they're mini Italian mini, mini Calabrese bread. Uh, if you like Italian bread, a nice soft, is it fresh, and it's good for sandwiches. Well, they're supposed to making a Vietnamese version now, because the Vietnamese have uh, the French version of a baguette, right? The French baguette. But the flavoring here is not along the lines of the French baguette, but rather it's more along the lines of the Italian. So, uh, great for sandwiches. You know, so if, to put together my short order menu, well, this is it. It takes me a while to come down from uh, walking, 
And I like because when you walk like this, your adrenaline pumps up. And of course, uh, now a lot of people say they go and they try Asian snacks. Uh, I'm in an Asian anyway. My supermarket is Asian. It's called TNT. And uh, in a minute, I'll get out and show you the uh, the, the card for TNT. But uh, I regularly buy uh, Asian snacks, and this is the one I like. I call Sultana uh, Raisin Biscuits. Uh, I really like these a lot. They're inexpensive. They're about uh, I think they're at about a buck fifty each. So you can't go wrong like that. So let me just uh, get the uh, TNT card. There's no identifying information on there, so I can show you. This is the. Uh, this is my typical. This is my supermarket here. Yeah, that's where I go shopping. I have been to uh, regular stores, the, the, what are called North American stores. I prefer the Asian stores to the North American stores. Uh, I think the staff are friendlier, uh, even when something goes wrong. And uh, the prices are better. Talking about, oh yeah, about the age of supermarkets. Uh, I, I said I don't just simply try the snacks. There are snacks I do like and snacks I don't like, so I get them anyways. The ones I like, and it's, they're always Asian. So uh, I got this. It's a whole tin of biscuits here. Uh, I like this this uh, this tin of biscuits here. So I got these on a uh, semi regular basis. I mean, I get these. I get these uh, once every two months. These are the shoes I got for five dollars. Well, for six bucks. They are five ninety nine. These are the shoes I got for uh, for walking, and I'm only going to wear them when I walk. So uh, to uh, food shopping. So they should last one, maybe two years. And then I'll spend another five bucks, get another pair, and you know away we go. So. Now to do some work that I forgot to do. Uh, I like getting the uh, uh, fine filter milk. They last a lot longer. And one of the reasons why I can, uh, one of the reasons why I do what I do is because you can store them longer than the regular milk. Uh, they don't go. They don't. It doesn't go bad. Uh, 
it allows me uh, uh, to stock up so I'm never really out of milk even if let's say there's an emergency and I can't go food shopping uh, well basically I'm covered so I just have to rearrange things here for now because I gotta Democratic Earth. Earth.